If you watch YouTube often, you probably know that YouTube is really strict about what they allow to be on a website, but y'all probably don't know exactly like how strict they are in the background. I mean, before they even allow you to put ads on your video, you literally got to fill out this whole long questionnaire that specifically asks if you got any freakiness going on in your videos. And if you do, then yeah, you're cooked. That, that video is not getting no money. Fuck. But when it comes to music videos, they throw like all them rules out the window. Like the stuff that's in music videos, I don't know how it's allowed on this platform. Like they could have 10 girls lined up throwing it back and YouTube is not gonna blink an eye, but let me try and post the same content and my channel will disappear tomorrow as if Thanos snapped me out of existence or something. I could sit here and complain about it, but who cares, bro? Let's just look at the freakiest music videos ever released. I'll admit, I've been talking about Sabrina Carpenter a lot, but there is so much to talk about, especially when we are talking about freaky stuff. And Taste by Sabrina Carpenter, that, that's a freaky music video, bro. I mean, we got three minutes of Sabrina Carpenter and Jenna Ortega literally trying to kill each other. I mean, Shawty in the bed, in the shower, and Shawty even gets her arm ripped off, which I'm sure I'm not going to show in this video because, like I said, I'm not getting demonetized. <laughs> And then they literally just end up making out at the end, which I'm not complaining about. I mean, y'all know how I feel about Sabrina Carpenter, but like Jenna Ortega, I don't know if I'm ever make that video ranking the most attractive actors, but she got to be on there. Oh my and what's even crazier is she just performed at the VMAs and did the exact same thing in front of live television. Like she got an alien on top of an astronaut getting freaky. I don't even know what's going on with that. And then she pushed the dude off the stage and then make out with the alien and push her off the stage. I don't really know what message she was trying to get across with that, but only thing I really got out of that is I got to see Sabrina Carpenter live. I was looking at them prices, though, and it's not happening, bro. But what the fuck? So, yeah, overall, it's a pretty freaky video, but honestly, in comparison to everything else we finna look at, it might not be that crazy. Oh, shit. I was straight chilling this morning at 12 a.m. when I accidentally dropped the video. I don't really know how that happened, but... Either way, this one person commented I seen Tate McRae's new video for It's Okay, I'm Okay, and I hadn't seen it, but honestly, I should not have chose to watch it at 12 a.m., bro, because that video, oh. I mean, it starts out pretty normal. She just over here drinking some QT, and then out of nowhere, she getting bent over on a cop car, all her clothes disappear, everything just pressed up against the window, and at this point, I'm just absolutely flabbergasted. Like, I told y'all, I'm watching this at 12 a.m., and... You know, I'm not going to try to act like I know what women go through because I was born a man and I've never been through an ovulation cycle. But I can tell you one thing for sure. As a man, this is not the type of thing you want to be seeing at 12 a.m. I, I don't know what it is, but as soon as 12 a.m. hits, the inner freak becomes the outer freak. And it becomes really hard what? like, to focus on anything. And this music video was just making it absolutely impossible, bro. And then when she finally gets her clothes back on, she over here doing the splits on top of the car, bro. That that was the last straw, bro. I'm gonna come. And then to make matters worse, the same shawty gonna ask me, would you smash if you had the opportunity, bro? That That is not what I need to be imagining at 12 a.m. Because once you go down that path, you, you're not coming back. After watching that video, though, I was really just thinking about the one time I ranked the most attractive white artist. And where did I have Tay McRae at? Like, eight? I don't know, but in that moment, I was thinking she got to be more like a one or something. But of course, I wasn't really thinking with my brain. So I don't know if that's accurate. But yeah, Shadi is um, Shadi bad. And that music video, freaky. Oh, God. Next up, we're going to talk about the WAP music video. Now, I've already said a lot about the song and the video before. So there's not really much of a point to dwell on this too long. I'm sure y'all already know all about this. But there's no way I'm leaving it off this video, bro. You got Cardi B. Megan Thee Stallion and like half of the women that I had in my most attractive artist video plus like OnlyFans models up in here bro it was this joint was insane bro I don't even know why they bothered to censor the lyrics too because fam the video is just there was no point but again I'm not complaining this video obviously super iconic but yeah it's way too freaky for me bro if I ever get caught watching this video at the 12 a.m it's already over for me bro I'm gonna be fighting my demons for the rest of the night Next up, we got another video I've already mentioned before, but it had to be in here. Princess Diana with Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice. Like, dog, it's just three minutes of Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj throwing it back on each other, bro. When people tell me they don't think Ice Spice is attractive, this is where I send them, bro, because I, I don't get how you could say that after seeing this. 
I mean, this video is so powerful, it made one of my subscribers lose none on November last year. And how could you blame, bro? I mean, like, I watched this video one time and may or may not have been bricked up through the whole thing. I just gotta be for real, but this is just an unhealthy amount of attractiveness, bro. Like, who allowed them to combine Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj throwing it back? That, that should just be illegal. The twerking in the last video was already way too much to handle, but twerk by City Girls featuring Cardi B, that one right there, they probably got about 10 times the amount of women throwing it back in that video, bro. I mean, they practically recreated the Mao Long Spank line from Spongebob. They got a whole yacht full of women that's throwing it back. They got Cardi B on the pole throwing it back. I mean, the song's called Twerk, so it's a lot of throwing it back. And yeah, ain't really much else to say. Freaky music video, bro. Next up, we got my girl Scissors with the Snooze music video. Now, first and foremost, we got Scissor with a whole bunch of dudes, but this man, Benny Blanco, got to eat fries out of Scissor, uh, out of her, can I even say that on YouTube? Out of the middle of her, it, you know what that thing is. He got to eat fries off of Scissor with ketchup on her back. That's just, wow. All right. I'm wishing for this my next birthday. You're a freak! And then in the next frame, they just got some dude standing in front of a flower with no clothes on. Don't don't really know why I was there, but hey, if we just being freaky, let's just go all out with the freakiness, I guess. Then of course we got Sissa dancing in the shower. That's pretty freaky, but I think the most insane thing on this video gotta be her dancing and throwing it back for a robot. And then giving bro a lap dance. That is insane, bro. I've never wanted to be a robot so much in my life, but... Honestly, I don't even think I can handle all that, bro. Because like some of y'all noticed before, I ain't exactly the biggest dude. I ain't measured my weight in a while, but I think I'm like 150 or something. But, you know, just the weight from her rear is probably going to end my life. Holy Jesus. Oh, and let's not forget to mention she ends the video by running off into the woods. Naked. That doesn't sound like um, a very good idea. I wonder if she ran into a man or a bear out there and... I wonder what they did. Next up, we got the Seek and Destroy teaser. Oh my. Click, googly, moogly. Um, let me just close that real quick so I can focus. Uh, we got the Scissor Seek and Destroy teaser music video or music video. I don't know what it is, but yeah, Shardy is um sitting here with invisible clothes taped to the ceiling. Or what is she doing? I don't know, something like that. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. Yeah, she got on clothes, but you can't see them. She's hanging from the ceiling, and that's pretty freaky. Let's just go on to the next one, bro. I can I can't focus. It's about time we look at a freaky music video by a man. I don't know why I didn't look at this earlier because you know I ain't really gonna get zoned out to this because I ain't really into that. But Mop to a Flame by the weekend. I don't even know what's going on in this, bro. This man got like hundreds of unclothed people just sitting out on the ground you can imagine what hundreds of wait i can't say that word uh hundreds of people with no clothes are doing on the ground probably uh pretty freaky stuff don't really know why this is what bro decided to do with his music video but like i said the weekend is the freak king runner up behind young thug so yeah i'm not really surprised to see this but this is this is really freaky, bro. This You kind of could have went down on a freak meter just a little bit, bro. But of course, instead of going down on a freak meter, he only goes up on it with the music video for Pretty. This is the only music video we're going to look at that actually has an age restriction on it because there's literally people with no clothes on. I don't know how to describe this without getting it monetized, but they literally just straight up out there. They got nothing on and they going crazy on each other. And the weekend pull up. And he said, you know what? I'm about to air this bitch out. I don't think it gets any freakier than this. I mean, he literally got people getting freaky with no censorship, nothing. That's that's the music video. Bro, look at this comment I left a year ago. I mean, I was spitting. I don't understand how this is on YouTube. The last song we're going to look at technically ain't even a real song. But hear me out. This one right here, Homies Over Hoes by Gangs Delicious, is as freaky as it gets. Now we got bro in the club popping bottles with the homies, but not entirely sure why he talking about doing the homie and doing this thrusting action with it as well. That's that's pretty freaky right there. 
the motion to pop the bottle is just absolutely ludicrous, bro. This man is really going all in thrusting. Not entirely sure if he's thinking about something else while he's doing it, but I mean, I ain't here to judge, bro. We just here to talk about the freakiest music videos, and that's for sure one of them. And that should just about wrap up the video. Now, I know there's way more freaky music videos out there, so you ain't got to be in the comments tripping out talking about, bro, how could you forget this? How could you forget that? These are just the first ones that popped up in my head, so y'all let me know in the comments if you know any more freaky music videos, and I'll make a part two for sure. Don't worry. And as usual, if y'all enjoyed, I appreciate a like and subscribe, and I'm going to try to get up out of here and try to control myself after all the freakiness I just witnessed. Bro, look at this video I just seen of Sabrina Carpenter rizzing me up. <laughs> what is she doing? How is she doing that, bro? Hey, she hitting that, bro. Her eyebrows are good. I ain't gonna lie. You're a